Zylu. Everybody kind of knows me. Do you want to introduce yourself, or would you like me to introduce you? Uh, introduce me. You want me to introduce you? All right. So, yeah. Zylu is a guy that's been coming to my stream and talking feral theory crafting with me for a little while now. Uh, I first met him. He got the number one world DPS parse, not feral DPS parse. Number one world DPS parse on Mythic Savara. I believe it was the first week or second week? First week. The first week, and he held the number one world DPS record for like, I think it was like five or six days, something like that. Yeah, and it wasn't okay. topped until, yeah. So, anyways, this guy is really good at Feral. Uh, he's also got his cutting edge. Um, he's extremely experienced. So, anyways, I'm going to pick his brain. Uh, if you guys have questions for him, feel free to ask. Are you reading chat, Zylu, or do I need to read it? Yep. Read it to you. Yeah, I'm on. I'm in chat. Okay, so he's reading chat. So if you guys have questions or anything like that, feel free to drop them in chat, and uh, and we'll we'll see them, and we'll kind of go from there. Um, so Zylu, how you feeling about the patch so far? It's a lot to take. It's a lot to take in, to be honest. Uh, first of all, uh, where should I start? Uh, How you feel about the, the corruption gear? First of all, the new sound effects, the most important ones. <laughs> did you hear how the bite sounds right now? The, did you, dude, did you the, hear how sexy it is? You know, I had really low expectations for Blizzard and what they were going to buff on Ferals. They blew my expectations out of the water. The sound update. Blizzard, thank you so much. This is what Ferals have been asking for, all expansion. I love it. I think it's perfect. What about you, Zylu? It's nice for once to have, like, to sound like a cat. <laughs> because, uh, yeah, like, source clinging when we shred, or I don't know even how how to call our bite yeah it was it was weird <laughs> but right now right now it's pretty cool uh, about the corruption gear uh, it will all change probably in the first week uh, because they buffed i don't know why they buffed infinite stars dude infinite gear. stars is incredible right now yeah they buffed it they left it like that Probably get nerfed. It's yeah. doing so much damage. I'll put this back on the screen so you guys can see how how much it's just shadowing everything. It's the top one here. <laughs> Nothing else comes that, close. I was hoping uh, just a little bit that our staff will be better than Echoing Void, but I think that's proc per minute and the scaling with versatility. Plus you know, the AOB factor in it is just better. I'm kind of happy that the Echoing Void pulled ahead of the Devour of Vitality. Because that means I don't have to have a separate weapon for um, Mythic Plus and for Raid. I can basically just have one weapon. Yeah, but it's also RNG. What is good about it is if Echoing Void will proc on your Bracers, and it won't stack with your weapon. You can always, you can also have like the uh, vitality weapon. Yeah, I wonder if it's gonna be like two times proc rate or separate proc rates, or or how that's gonna kind of interact. Yeah, it will be. We will have to wait for the Nylofa to, to see. Right. Like in a, in a way, most of the things will clear up, right? how Feral does in Raid, uh, Rotation, uh, Essences. But for now, I think, I also think that Vision of Perfection would be good. But Blood it's... of the Enemy, in the first week, at least, of Heroic, will be... Why do you think Blood of the Enemy is going to be the best for the first week? Uh, mostly because the fights are really, really long in Mythic. First fights, the first week when people are dying 
constantly because of the progression. We also need to see how hard will be the first boss. Because for now, it doesn't seem that it's that he's that hard, the Raffian, but we will see. There were yeah. many bosses that were that were really easy, but many people proved wrong that it can be hard to run away from the boss and to hide in various in small corner for like ten seconds and not DPS. <laughs> yep. yep. So, yeah, so. I, I think I agree with you that uh, Blood of the Enemy is going to be extremely, er, extra potent, right, on the first, on the early prog with Mythic, because the fights are going to take longer than usual, right, and you're going to get the extra stacks and uh, with your ink pods and your corals and things like that for that big burst damage. Um, but, alright, let's talk after the first week of Mythic. Do you think that... There's a lot of single target fights in the raid. There's a lot of um, fights where you prioritize one target at a time. Do you think that Vision of Perfection is going to be the go-to coming up? After the first week, I think yes. I mean, it all depends because it was it was really buffed right now. So it's like 12% buff from, if I'm not mistaken, 12%, 13 yep. 12%. Yeah. Yeah, so we will see, but yeah, it was already uh, very high in Eternal Pass, more towards the end of the uh, patch. Yep. But yeah, we will yeah, see. Yeah, and you saw some people running with it, and for the overall like average of Vision and Perfection, it was pretty mediocre, right? It was a, it, it was below, you know, the average for... Uh, our standard uh, Sabertooth Soul of the Forest build. Um, but when when Vision of Perfections pops off, it pops off. Like, your damage is through the roof. And I've seen people get consistent, like, minute-long incarns. Um, and your damage is just insane. Uh, it, it just shadows everybody else. So... Yeah, um, I think... Yeah, that... by the way, sorry for interrupting. I have to talk really quiet because it's like I'm from Europe, so it's three in the morning in my country. Oh, that's right. And We're on two I'm... different time zones, guys, so he's like trying to keep his family from waking up, and I'm just, you know, pissing off my neighbors, so... <laughs> but yeah, so I think that... I think with Vision of Perfection being buffed across the board... Um, and and it's still having that ability to just pop off. I think it's going to be the go-to build. Um, it is an easier rotation, which kind of is a bummer, but it it is what it is. And you know, if that keeps uh, Feral competitive, then that's what it takes. That that's that's what I'll do. Um, so do you have any bosses uh, that that you're particularly excited for in the raid coming up? Have you looked at mm -hmm. all the bosses? Rodin. Yeah, you excited because, for Rodin? Why are you excited yeah, for Rodin? Because uh, it was a cool fight in Throne of Thunder, and I didn't really have much progression on it. It's really similar to the to the Throne of Thunder fight, uh, and basically, I want to kick his ass again. <laughs> So I didn't actually raid back in Throne of Thunder. So this will be my first time versing him, but um well with him being I did actually, just a little. Yeah. So that'll be cool. <clears throat> I think the fight that I'm most excited for right now and you know, it's kind of a toss up between Shadar and Skitra. They aren't the most mechanically intensive fights, but I think that with, you know, uh, the fact that they're very patchwork-like, the, the fact that they're single-target focused. Um, Skitra, in particular, is going to have that that phase with the ads that are like walking in the wall, right? I think we're finally 
for the first time ever get to use Mass Entanglement. Actually, I can't say that because Mechatork, shout out to Mechatork, but Mass Entanglement's going to be pretty good on that fight. Um, so I think Ferals are going to be pretty desirable for that fight. Uh, either that or, you know, just take Rest of Druids. But a lot of guilds don't actually like taking Rest of Druids for Prog. So those yeah, would be rest, the bosses. Rest of us, rest of us really lacking from yeah. the previous tier. Yeah. Maybe yeah. this time it will be just a little bit better, but... We'll see. We'll see. I hear shamans are the healers that are doing the most DPS right now, and that's pretty yeah. surprising. Um, Alright, so... You have... Uh, Alright, so the corruption gear. Do you think it's an upgrade yeah. from Titanforge or not? How are Honestly, you feeling about it? I don't know. I will have to play with it for some time. I mean, it's different. It's good because, yes, you have RNG and it's more layered because you have like three tiers of the RNG. You also need to get the traits that you really want to use. Plus, it, had, it needs to be tier three because it's the best. So. As I said, it's really layered, but I don't know. Maybe it's it will be it will grow on us. It will be. I think it, it, it's more enjoyable than Titan Forge because Titan Forging was bad in this uh, in the state that Titan Forging. The the reason I dislike Titan Forging was because essentially players that were doing content not at the top could get gear that was essentially at the top, yeah. right? So Also, yeah, you would see like the casual for 555 from LFR, uh, the Ashen Cor Ash Ashmin's Coral from LFR, a guy with 455, even better than Mystic. Right. Because it's Titan Forge. Yep. It, it 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 was it was really stupid, but right now you get the items you have you want. It's uh, the eye level is stable. All you need is the good corruption on it. It does Most give you the... that that sense of reward back to doing the difficulty yeah. that you're doing for sure. Most of the corruption early on will be our weapon because it's already there. So yeah, it's like 35 corruption. Right now, my cloak at rank four gives me like 20, yeah, 20 corruption resistance plus yep. the essence. Yep. So I will have like only five corruption. So it's really, really good. It's also, it's almost completely negates the corruption effect. Well, we'll have to see. I think it will grow on us, but I know that there are, there will be people that won't get their corruption, that beast corruption from the whole patch, and they will be met. Yeah, um, so it does give a little bit of control back to the player, right? But there is that sense of RNG, and I kind of talked about it last night on my stream, but <clears throat> I'm a little bit worried that it's going to kind of fall into the same suit as Azurite traits. Like, if I'm looking at these these corruption balancing, uh, these sims here, right? If I don't get infinite stars, like, am I even going to be able to compete with players that randomly get infinite stars, right? Obviously, they'll probably nerf that, but this, the same argument goes for Echoing Void or Twisted Appendage or Devour Vita, etc., right? So yeah, I'm. I don't think it's going to be as severe as Azerite traits. I think Azerite traits have that hole that that your class has a hole right in it, and Azerite traits fill it. And if you never get the correct Azerite traits, right, then you you just feel like you're playing with a piece of you that's just missing the entire time, and you can't ever you know reach your potential because of this RNG and there's no meaningful way to actually 
you know, farm the gear. So I'm hoping corruption doesn't end up being like that because that is a huge bummer, you know. They also said that it's only on that it will go away in the next expansion and they will <laughs> grow something different from this uh, to be more in the theme of the next expansion. We will see how it goes. Uh, also, what I wanted to say was basically with corruption right now, uh, you don't need to worry about it. As I said, you have mostly in the first week of the mythic and heroic, uh, the most important thing is the weapon because it will mostly cover your whole corruption and you don't really want in, prog in early progression a lot of corruption. Right. So, yeah, take it slowly. Uh, watch Sims closely on Plot Mallet. Uh, Sim yourself. That's the most important thing. And gather your gear, even if it's Crit Verse, Sacred Mastery, gather it. Don't disenchant it. Don't scrap it. Just save it because yep. we never know what will happen, what will change. They can also, like, in a week after Heroic or after first week of the Mythic, when they are balancing the classes more, they can change the Feral differently. That they can nerf Vision of Perfection if it will proc too much, because yeah. Boomkins will use it for sure. And dude, you don't have to tell me twice. I always hoard all of my Azerite. Like, we're in the yeah. patch right now, and I still have hordes of Azerite in my bags. Also, to be honest, depends on depends on the fight, but uh, blood mist can be very good. Right. I don't know for what exactly, but if we will run in car build, it's probably for one of the jungle theories, since we are getting the crits, double crits from shreds anyway, and uh, there are a lot of crit trinkets. For example, the two trinkets from uh, the set bonus, with the set bonus from Raden, the Vita trinkets. They are really good. One prox haste, one prox crit, and a shield. So, um, yeah, we will have to see. It will change uh, slowly. Yep. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that's still kind of pending. Blizzard always waits for the first week to pan out the, the nerfs and the buffs. But, yeah. <clears throat> well, anyways, Zylu, I'm getting summoned for my raid. I've got to go kick Ashara's ass. Um, one last question for you. Yeah? Who's going to get world first? Nihilotha. I mean, you don't really have to ask. <laughs> I just want to hear you say limit. Of course it's going to be me. I'm <laughs> <metal>. <laughs> uh, all yeah, right, man. I mean, 100%, 100% uh, it will be a good fight. I don't really know if it's going to be method because uh, in this expansion limit is really, really close especially with the 12, 12 or 16 hour hard start. I don't know uh, how, much, I, how much. I am rooting for limit, but my prediction still stands every single world first. The guild that gets to the last boss first, I think loses. I think it's a, it's a much bigger advantage to have the knowledge and the insight on the first boss. Um, that you get early um, than sure. it is to be the first boss or the first team on that boss. So, but anyways, man, I've got a raid. I appreciate you stopping by and doing this podcast with me. We'll no problem. We can more... do it again. Say again. I mean, we can do it again a week after the mythic, dude. When we'll it will all settle down. One. Yeah. yeah. And anybody that is not familiar, 
This is Angry Zylu. I will put it in the chat. He's already in the chat. You can go follow him on his channel. Um, but yeah, he streams sometimes. He streamed his Mythic as Shara Prague. Um, anyways, Zylu, thank you again for coming on here and doing this podcast with me. I appreciate Good it. Luck. I appreciate your insights. I really hope to kill it today. Dude, we're going to kill it. Don't even... We're going to kill it. Don't take short. <laughs> All right, man. I'll catch you later. Yeah, see ya.